everybody welcome back to the channel frugal travel rich life today is the second recording in the series frugal finance i'll show you how to use a currency conversion website called wise to convert funds to a foreign currency with minimal to no fees so remember the more you save the less you have to work so let's get started everybody I got into work this morning and was looking at the performance of the Dow Jones like I normally do and I noticed all of these articles about the British sterling pounds and its value supposedly decreasing so what that really means is that the British pound has hit a record low against the US dollar so I went on over to Google and plugged in USD to GBP, Great Britain Pound, and saw that um, it is true, obviously, that uh, this pound sterling is almost equivalent to the US dollar as of today. Who knows what it will be tomorrow. But historically, In half a pound or 50 pence or 50p per US dollar. So, with it being almost equivalent, I thought I needed to take advantage of this opportunity since I'm sure I'll be going back to visit family in uh, England again in the next couple of years. And I will have a much more spending power with the $100 that I plan to transfer today. So let's head on over to the WISE website. That's WISE.com. It was formerly called TransferWISE. You'll want to set up an account, username, and password. But for the demonstration purposes, I'm going to log into my personal account. All right, guys, if you click on pricing, you'll see here on the WISE website different ways that you can handle funds sent to that account. You can transfer money between banks or from your account. You can use the WISE debit card. You can receive and add money. And what I like is you can hold money in your account in 50 plus currencies. So that's pretty cool. So there's British pounds, euros, dollars, I have pesos. You can just hold them in your account without any cost. Scroll down here. Opening an account is free. Sending money can vary from 0.41%. Spending money, if you withdraw $100, um, or the equivalent, I should say, of $100 anywhere in the world, to have, that you can have access to an ATM, that would be free. Over $100, if you go back the next day and withdraw any amount of money past that first $100 on the first day uh, during that month, then there's a 2% fee. If you want the debit card, it's a $9 fee for the card. And like I said, holding the currencies in the account is free. Receiving money is also free. Receiving USD wire payments. It's a pretty minimal fee there. All in all, a good deal. And the best thing about it is when you make the transfer, it's in real time what the market is doing right at that moment. So WISE has changed their home page, which I like it much better. You can see actually how much is in each of your accounts. And I have at the moment some pesos saved up for my trip in a few weeks. 
first real quick I want to see how much 100 pounds will cost me in US dollars so I'll go back to Google so at the very minute of checking Google it was going to cost me just over $108 to buy 100 pounds so I'm going to transfer into my US account $110 to cover that and any minor fees that may be required. WISE gives you options here of how to fund the account. I find that the ACH is the easiest way once you link up your bank account and has the least amount of fees in the long run. I would also caution against using a credit card due to cash advance fees that may be charged. Okay, I see the funds in my U.S. account now. Okay, now it's time to convert those U.S. dollars to the British pounds, so I'm going to plug in to convert to 100 pounds. All right, everything looks good here. They're only charging 50 cents to do, to do the conversion at the real time currency rate. I see the 101 pounds actually in my account. My pesos are still there. And back to $7 in my US account. Okay guys, I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for joining me. Please click the next video in the series and I'll see you next time. Bye.